we're just going to look at the process. So what was one of the challenges that you were having? Yeah. It was, the challenge was, um, I'm limited to the amount of income. Okay, so the income's a challenge. So although this is a bit messy, I'll step you through and I'll show you how it is in the mind. Two million bits of information is coming towards Marcia every moment. It's coming through the conscious mind down into the unconscious. And then she's filtering it through her past. Now, there was a limiting decision and a belief that when she lived in Brazil, that black people in Brazil can't succeed. Now, whether she chose that consciously or unconsciously is something separate. All of us, when we were born, congratulations, you're the semen that got the egg. You're winning already. 15,000 genomes from your father, 15,000 genomes from your mother. And then they come together and they form the embryo. That embryo contains all the memory of your father and all the memory of your mother. So whether or not you chose this, it's now in your body. And it could be generationally. So here we're on the back foot to start with. So there's a limiting decision or a belief that black people in Brazil can't succeed. So here, it's a decision and a belief. This is within her. Now, also, my family was average. So now, there's an attitude, a belief and decision that's coupled around being an average. You've seen these average families? We're up to fourth generation um, social security now in Australia. It's hard to break the mold because it's now in their nervous system. They're programmed. When you get your Mac, it's pre-programmed until you put on there what you want. Here, a memory. I now have a memory of being bullied. So this is stored inside the body. The program is still operating. This is like a computer program. It's operating in the background. What happens when you have too many programs operating on your computer? Crash. Crashes. Here I have a positive memory. Athletics brought me a lot of success. I got a good job, I had a lot of success. And what happens is this then overrode that and said this is your new programming. And this disappeared, correct? But then there was an event here of marriage and divorce. So there's always going to be a memory here and language. So now we have language coming in here. I'm divorced. I'm now divorced. I'm now divorced. Now there can be a certain pleasure and pain at the same time. There was some pleasure where after you got divorced, you said, this is my time to succeed. So you went out and you become a systems analysis, correct? This is all cancelled out. This is what we're left with. At the age of eight, my, my daughter kept asking for everything. And I made a limiting decision. This is not consciously. We'd never do this consciously, by the way. Oh my gosh, if I lost that money, I can't provide. So we're now creating memories for the future because it hasn't happened yet, has it? She's looking out to the future and creating a fear in the future, which is an anxiety. So she's created an internal representation, six things happening, coupled with an emotional state. I can't provide, I can't provide, I can't provide. So now the emotion is attached. Now I'm left with fear. What if I'm not here tomorrow? This is a fear of the future, which is an anxiety. What if I'm not here tomorrow? So to imagine what if I'm not here tomorrow, you have to create a picture in your mind of you not being here. The mind sees you not in the future anymore. There's nothing in the future. I was working with a couple recently, they were in a relationship and he said, I can't see my partner in the future. The relationship kept coming in like this. I bought this house, I bought this car, but I don't see her in it. The relationship fell apart because according to him, she didn't exist in his future, which led to a behavior of doing certain things, sabotaging behavior that would cause her to leave the relationship, not spending couple time together, based on what he thought was gonna happen. It hadn't happened. Then, the fear of not being here tomorrow equals, I lost my job. I've moved from Brazil to Australia, and I've brought my money here, but I've never again been a success. See the pattern of the mind? And now it's producing behaviours that I've never been a success again. Then we go down another 
Now I have this block inside of myself and then I loop around back here and I keep saying, oh my gosh, if I lost that money, I can't provide. So this keeps happening. It's a program. It's running, it's running, running. And I'm blocking myself. Now I have a limiting decision to belief that I can't sell anything. So if you don't believe you can sell it, you can't sell it. And then there's a limiting, a limiting decision, language and a belief that now I couldn't provide. So the business starts to drop based on what's happening internally. Another type of language here, if I can't do that, if I can't, if I can't, then it leads to the loss of a job. Limited decision now equals I have to limit my income. Then it goes down to I know but I can't, I know but I can't and we loop around. And now, everybody else earns more than me, correct? The cleaner earns more than me. Everybody else has more money than me, and it's become the reality based on the mindset. Because the rest of it we make up. And then the world becomes what we focus on most of the time. Fair to say, Marcia? Mm -hmm. Oh, where this come from? <laughs> yeah, this, hey, we don't choose this. This just happens because when was the last time somebody showed you that? That's what I thought. They should be teaching this at school. They should be teaching children this. If you make a decision, that decision is held in by belief. But if a belief is a thought that we keep thinking, then we're free to change our beliefs and our decisions at any time. The good news is, you're driving the bus. This is your mind, and you can do anything you want with it. Tony Robbins says, what does he say? What's his incantation? I'm fucking unstoppable, I'm fucking unstoppable. Look at his behaviors and his results. So all we have to do is change the way our mind works, okay? Simple as that. It might seem complex, but it's very simple. And we're going to start to do it over the next couple of hours. We're going to put you in situations where you can face your little demons. And it's time to let them go. Because if there's somebody else succeeding, succeeding in your field, you can do the same thing. If Tony Robbins can own an island and I'm a coach, guess what? It's possible. So if I want it, I can do the same thing. But I would have to change my decisions and beliefs to in order me to get to that level of success, if that was important to me. So this is how complex we are. Your business will be a reflection of your consciousness. Interesting, isn't it? So this is what happens in our mind. And the mind seems complex, but I'm gonna give you strategies today to be able to change that, Marcia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>